So, um, what what they're doing uh, currently in this society, and it's a damn shame, really. But uh, they are the the powers that be. All right, powers that be. They're utilizing the black male and the plight of the black male to promote a lot of their Marxist, you know, Luciferian ideologies such as uh, the whole LGBT movement, you know, they use the Black Lives Matter uh, as a cover to, to sort of push those agendas. And, you know, the Black Lives Matter, they utilize the black male, the black male's death at the hands of the police or being brutalized, quote-unquote, police brutality or whatever. And what, what they do a lot of times, they use, because... The, the sports, the black male is heavily invested. You know, niggas love their sports. I love my sports too, man. But they know that they can use because we're so we're so heavily interested in the sports world, especially basketball. That's niggas' favorite shit. But we're so heavily interested in that they're able to utilize it to push their propaganda. Now, I believe uh, the lady's name is Molly Carroll, if I'm not mistaken. She's going to um, ask. <clears throat> she's going to ask uh, Stephen A. Smith. Does he believe that this was the most uh, challenging finals run that LeBron has had so far? Now he's going to give her his answer. Pay attention to what happens in the background. All right. Somebody was mic'd up and didn't know what was going on, but pay attention to how. Um, the person in the background reacted to his fucking response. This shit is a shame. All right? Watch this. I want their respect. And I want my damn respect, too. Hey, Stephen A., this title run started one year ago. Is this LeBron's most challenging title? I would say yes, but it's not because of what transpired on the basketball court. Obviously, uh, it, it, it extends far beyond that. When you consider the conditions under which these guys uh, had to deal with, to have the season halted, to take a four-month hiatus, to come back when guys, even his team in the Los Angeles Clippers, voted not to come back, then to be in the bubble, and then to have the shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin, take place. And prior to that, I'm... Now, did you hear that? Somebody... Uh, I guess somebody work, working in the studio behind the camera or somebody who was on the other end that was mic'd up. Whoever the fuck it was, all right? I didn't even watch this whole thing yet, so there may be some other shit that they reveal later. I, didn't, I just watched it up until this point, and I heard that shit, and I'm like, wow. Okay, so basically somebody in the background, when he said that dumbass shit he just said, they sucked their teeth. Uh, uh, basically in disgust of the shit this nigga just said because he utilized uh, the, the shooting that happened in Kenosha to say, okay, this was so tough on LeBron because this black guy just got shot up in his back in Kenosha and they had to play through that. And it's like, bro, how are you uh, 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 linking that up as to say, this, that made it more difficult for them in some way. Guarantee you, none of them niggas was on the court thinking about that shit the entire time. But uh, people like uh, Stephen A. Smith and many others um, that frequent this little network right here, they have a battery in their back. They're basically told to get on these stations and, and you know, say things like this, uh, uh, statements involving race and police brutality because what they're using the black male as uh you know sort of a foot soldier in their in their marxist uh battles to push whatever agenda little freaky bugged out ass agendas uh like being genderless and the whole lgbt vibe all that shit all that weirdo ass shit but that's what they're doing so when he said what he said Understand something. This is something that that um, that they are being told, that they're being influenced to get on TV and say, "Hey, get on TV, you know, 
make these kind of statements about race and police brutality and the black man because when they do that, it, it sort of circles around back into these little these little weird ass agendas that they have or that they're uh, promoting. Pay attention. Let's go back again, man. Somebody heard him say that because they were they were so disgusted at him. Polly, Polly, one of the, the people that you know on the other end that would usually be agreeing. You see, they don't agree with this shit behind the scenes. They don't really give a fuck, but they have to get on camera and put up a certain act. Then his team in the Los Angeles Clippers voted not to come yeah. back. Then to be in the bubble and then to have the shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin take place. And prior that? to that, they suck their teeth. Like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? This is what they really think about you. All right, when they're when they're pushing these these crazy ass bugged out ass agendas, this is what they really think about you. All right, the liberal Caucasian, the liberal white man, white female, don't give no fuck about the black man. They don't give a fuck. They don't give two shits about none of you niggas. All right, y'all following their movements, y'all going and marching and all this other shit. They this is a a a large gigantic mind fuck all of this shit that they're doing all of the protests in the marshall it's a big ass mind fuck but that that is just about conclude i don't even usually do shit like this man but i had to do this because i heard i'm sitting here chilling and i'm like what the fuck somebody just sucked their teeth but that that about do it man peace <laughs>